Which is better, natural cover or man-made structure? Which structure is better? Good morning, guys and girls. We have turned into May, the merry, merry month of May. It certainly is from a fishing standpoint. If you live up north, it's like your April. And so if you live down south, a lot of the fish is spawned. You can start going into the post-spawn techniques and catch them. Top water's good. Buzz baits are good. Sinking worms are good. Red man spinner baits are good. I'm telling you, it's just a good time of the year to be alive. We're looking at Job 42.6. Therefore, I abhor myself and repent in dust and atches. I'm reading from a Catch a Better Life book, a daily devotional book that took me two years to write. That's right, two years. I'm a slow writer. Not a very good writer at, at that, but uh, this book will literally change your life. If you're subscribed to the Catch of the Day channel, we post these videos up every day at five o'clock in the morning, every day at five o'clock in the morning, central time. And uh, once they're up there, they're up there on that Catch of the Day channel. If you're not subscribed to the Catch of the Day channel, subscribe right now. If you are subscribed, for goodness sakes, share it with somebody every single day. Share it with somebody different every single day until you run out of somebody's to share it with. <laughs> My greatest disappointment in tournament fishing was the Super Bass Tournament event on Lake Chickamauga in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Super Bass, B-A-S-S, -S, Bass Angler Sportsman Society. I failed to win the tournament. The tournament paid $75,000, which back in then the tournaments usually only paid about 50 to win. Paid $75,000, why they called it Super Bass. I failed to win the tournament when I should have easily won. A great, tremendous disappointment. On the final tournament day, four day tournament, and I'd caught the biggest string the second day and the third day. And I'd moved from like, I don't know, 17th up to, up to 9th, up to 2nd and I was just a few ounces out of the lead. On the final tournament day, we were not allowed to lock down the river as I had throughout the tournament to go through the lake and go down and fish Nickajack. I was fishing the other end of Nickajack, about a 40 mile run after I had locked through. I was so down and so disappointed even after winning the biggest prize of the year, the Angler of the Year. That's when I won my second BASS Angler of the Year title and I should have been elated. I should have been on cloud nine but I was just, woe is me, poor pitiful me. They made a rule that didn't allow me to go down there. Stupid rule. Should never have made the rule. They made the rule because they were having a boat race in Chattanooga, downtown Chattanooga, in the middle of the day. And when we came back up in the morning, it wouldn't affect us. When we came up back up during the middle of the day, I even told them I'd come back up early if I needed to. Uh, but uh, they made that rule, and uh, we have to abide by the rules, whatever it is. No matter how bad they are, no matter how unfair they are, it's kind of like a... A baseball umpire's decision or a referee in football's decision. Once that decision is made, well, unless it's changed by instant replay nowadays, uh, that, it's a decision, whether it's a good decision or a bad decision. It was a bad decision for them to do that. It cost me that tournament victory. And uh, I actually ended up ninth place. I think I won $3,500 or $9,500. So it was a huge difference in money. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, I, had, uh, I, I just won the Angle of the Year title, so I should have been elated. Chris corrected my thinking on this. She sat down and talked to me and told me that, Jimmy, you have just done what you come to this tournament to do. You didn't come to this tournament to win. You come to this tournament to win the BASS Angler of the Year title. And you did that. And plus, you got a top 10 finish. So <laughs> all but nine people in the tournament would like to have had where you finish. So she corrected my thinking. In today's scripture, this is about Job. Job had been corrected by God. When he made this, he said, I abhor myself. I repent in dust and ashes. I just abhor myself. I feel terrible about myself. God, I repent in dust and ashes. When Job said this, he was still a very broken, a very sick man. He was still destitute, broken financially. He was still ashamed. He was still humiliated. He was a stench to the whole community. He said, the old men that used to respect him and stand up when he entered the courtyards now make jokes about him. Young men spit on him. But through all of that, as down as he was, he realized that God was still real and was his only hope. Can I tell you, you and I have the same situation. Hopefully we never get in the situation that Job was in when he uttered those words. But we'll be in situations when life turns against us. 
we'll be in situations when the devil throws things at us. If you remember right, the devil created all of this problem for Job. It wasn't created by God. It was created by the devil. When things are going wrong in your life, even if it's not your fault, that's the key thing, even if it's not your fault, repent of any sin that you may have. Repent, like Job said, I repent in dust and ashes. He meant it. He was serious with God. God, I am sorry for my sins. Sat back and watch God start making things better. You remember the end of the story. Job is everybody's favorite because everybody kind of identifies with Job when things are not going right in your life. But even at the end, he had twice as much as he started with. He had beautiful sons and daughters. And I assume he still had the same wife. God made things better. Can I tell you? He'll do the same for you and me. Here's our tip for today, and it's a pretty good one. Natural structure, such as rocks, such as brush, ditches, and channel swings, where a channel makes a swing. That natural cover, generally better than man-made cover. And random cover is the very best at all. When you find isolated rocks, isolated brush piles, isolated bend, maybe a, maybe a long creek channel that doesn't make much bends and all of a sudden makes a bend. Random cover is generally the best. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.